this plate may be considered as 2D because it has small thickness and its x and y dimensions are comparatively large than its thickness. So 2D analysis will simplify our calculation. Uh, this is an other example of a 2D problem. You have seen these type of specimen in the mechanics of material lab where you perform the experiment of stress concentration. So the load is applied you can see here T is load which is parallel to the plane XY plane XY is parallel to the load similarly here you can see the load T is applied parallel to the XY plane so we can uh, find out the stress concentration points uh, you have performed the experiment of polariscope in mechanics of material lab where you have seen that stress is concentrated around this hole and you might have seen that stress is concentrated on this edge on these two edges so uh, we can perform 2D analysis by dividing this plate into rectangular elements or triangular elements. In this chapter, we will discuss first triangular elements, then we will discuss the rectangular elements. So, first the analysis is start with dividing this plate into small elements which can be triangles or rectangles so the calculation is simple for triangular elements these are few other examples which can be considered as 2D. This is a dam. So you can see its X and Y dimensions are much bigger than the thickness. And uh, this is a pipe which is subjected to a vertical load can also be considered as 2D problem. Uh, I will explain this figure. This is a two dimensional state of stress. So, this element is showing the two dimensional state of stress. So, uh, this equation is showing the 2D state of stress. 2D state of stress in which three stresses are non zero, which are sigma x, sigma y, tau xy. Then you have already know what is principal stress. Principal stress are maximum and minimum normal stresses in the 2D plane. What is principal stress? Principal stress is the maximum and minimum normal stresses in 2D plane. 
and please now note down these equations for principal stress sigma 1 is maximum normal stress and sigma 2 is minimum normal stress please note down these two equations after this note down what is principal angle theta p uh, it defines this angle defines the normal whose direction is perpendicular to the plane on which the maximum or minimum principal stress at and it's it is not defined by tangent to theta is equal to 2 tau xy divided by sigma x minus sigma y so the basically theta p is giving you the direction of sigma 1 and sigma 2 you can see in this figure that theta p is is giving a direction from the 2d plane that sigma 2 is directed at theta p and sigma 1 and sigma 2 are having an angle which are perpendicular to each other sigma 1 and sigma 2 are perpendicular then uh, after explaining the principal stresses which are sigma 1 and sigma 2 we will explain the principal strains this figure this figure is showing the strains principal strains and uh, u is the horizontal displacement and v is the vertical displacement so you know the definition of normal strain and shear strain please note down these definitions where epsilon x is uh, partial u over partial x this is the basic definition of strain and uh, epsilon y is partial v over partial y and this is shear strain these are two normal strains and this is shear strain gamma x y is equal to partial u over partial y plus partial v over partial x